Hey, hey, what's up guys? This is your boy Will for Action Figure Review and I'm here to show you the Sideshow exclusive Shadow Predator by Hot Toys. Some of the names of the people involved in the making of the figure. Great figure. Um, I had a lot of uh, thoughts about buying this guy. Alright, let's take a look inside the box of the figure. It comes with a couple of mandibles. Um, in the right side of the box it comes with two hands, um, pegs for the hands, and a great looking cranium um, trophy. On the other side of the box, you got another set of three hands. You got a weapon for the hand. And you also got the traditional spear and that awesome sword. Okay, so now let's take a good look at the Predator before I take him out of the box. A nice rundown of the Predator from head to toe. Beautiful detail on this guy. Nice paint job all the way to his toenails. All right, so a close-up look at what comes inside the box. The hands, the weapon, the spear. The mandibles, the other weapon, I forgot what you call that anyway, and um, the hand peg and that awesome looking trophy that the Predator comes with. Nice detail on this trophy, it actually looks like a real skull. As you can see, look at the teeth and uh, the paint job is pretty immaculate guys. If you look closer, you can actually see the damage that the Predator um, put to this guy just to kill it. Okay, let's take a nice close look at this guy um, on his display stand. Beautiful detail on this character. What, what makes this character really stand out is the fur. I mean, he really stands out because of the fur. Because I was a little bit skeptical on buying this guy. Because he looks like the other Predators. But um, he does use the newer body from the Predators line. Which is great. Um, being that he's a Predator 2 figure. Um, I love the fur on this guy. It looks really Let's take a closer look at the fur on the Predator. Um, great detail on the figure. Um, like I said before, the fur is, is, looks real, but it, you can actually tell it's artificial, by, you know, especially when you touch it. it. Looks so good on the belt, though, and on the shoulder. Not too over-exaggerated. It's just perfect. Um, my favorite thing about this guy that also makes him stand out is the sword, which is great because um, this is what makes this figure shine and stand out um, besides the fur on his body, which is great. Very nicely detailed. I give uh, Hot Toys credit for making this figure almost, uh, to me, maybe movie accurate. I have to watch Predator 2 again to see, so I can see the figure in the movie. It's going to be hard for me to find it, but whatever. Anyway, um, it's a great body. Very, um, the only problem with it is very stiff. Extremely stiff. Not a lot of articulation, so it reminds me of a statue, which is cool with me because, you know, I'm not into posing. I I'll pose them a little bit. Just to get to the point of what I'm trying to accomplish with my pose. But he's actually pretty cool. I was afraid of buying this figure because um, he looks like the other Predators. I mean, pretty much. The only thing about this Predator, though, is the fur and the sword. And and uh, what else? The paint job. The paint job is immaculate. One, the gauntlets are great on his wrist. They look like real leather. Uh, it might be real leather. I'm not sure. And it comes with really nice stitching on, on the sleeve. Um, another great detail to this figure is the netting on the body, which is great. It looks like real rope. It does come off, and it adds a lot of detail to the figure. The dreads look really good. They're not all puffed out like the other Predators that Hot Toys made. It looks really good. It falls down nicely for those I mean, for those who wants to make it closer to the head. Eh, I think it looks fine the way it is, so I'm not going to mess with them. For the, you know, but you people have the choice of doing that by using the hot water technique or whatever you guys use, the blow dryer or whatever. But it looks good to me, so I'm not going to mess with it. So, with that said, there's not much to say more about this guy. Because, you know, he's just another Predator, but uh, he does stand out. He's unique. And, I, yeah, I do recommend getting him. So, my rating for this guy is a 9 out of 10. And the reason he gets a 9 instead of a 10 is because he does not come with a mask. Now, for those asking, the reason he does not come with a mask is because, most likely in the movie, he does not have a mask on. So till next time, this is your boy Will for Action Figure Review, and next up is Resident Evil Alice.